We keep on talking about innovation and digitalization. And there's one topic we really can't avoid, the question of how well equipped the Port of Hamburg is in terms of cybersecurity, or to put it more negatively, how equipped it is to deal with cyber criminality. Having been trained in IT, you're very motivated to deal with this issue. But how prepared is the Port of Hamburg? Because the issue of cyber attacks is getting more and more relevant. Many companies are being hit by them. So what about the Port of Hamburg? Well, let me respond like this. A project like Mozart that we just looked at with automated signal switching aimed, as we like to say, at creating a digital thinning liquid for viscous traffic situations, well, it all sounds really good because we want to optimize traffic flows. But of course, you also have to make sure that, shall we say, some joker doesn't manipulate the traffic lights. You don't want somebody driving past to say, I'm going to switch the lights to green or play with them. So I'm not primarily talking about nasty stuff like terror attacks or the like, but you do have to create some digital trust. And the architecture we create in terms of sensors, signals, lock control and remote control systems, it all needs to be reliable and secure. That's why we began testing the 5G network standard for the EU quite early on. On the one hand, to gauge response times. It has to be quick, when you press the emergency stop button, then whatever is connected to it has to stop immediately. We also tested it to see how resilient it is against attacks, and using that as a basis, we developed further from there. We have developed advanced technologies which can identify weak spots in the architecture before other people find them and before any damage can be done, whether by external hackers or unexpected downtime. Worldwide, the Port of Hamburg is at the vanguard when it comes to this within its peer group. We cooperate with our trusted partners in these matters, for example with Singapore or Los Angeles. And I think this process of learning from each other, exchanging knowledge, finding the best solution, that's what makes us strong. And we're going to continue pushing ahead in more projects in the future. We're really focusing on the future now and what it will bring. And now we're going to look a long way into the future and ask the question, what might things be like if we meet again in 100 years? What will the Port of Hamburg look like? And as a kind of creative input, we brought a clip that looks at virtual reality and augmented reality and asks the question, is this what it will look like in 100 years? Maybe even much earlier. Let's take a look. We have a project with a timeline of five years called Connected Urban Twin. It's supported by the German Interior Ministry and it's all about building urban twins. As the HPA, we're part of the project because we have our expertise in the area of virtual reality, simulation and IoT. So let's talk virtual reality, IoT, the Internet of Things, augmented reality. The video we produced there with Uli Baldauf was a very special production because we produced the video virtually as well. That is, Uli and I met in the virtual world in the virtual port cockpit. A digital twin, as I said. Are these things that might have become reality if we met again in 100 years, maybe even 50? Yes, I really do think so. These technologies will develop. But we also have to cope with the challenge of how to deal with a lack of young workers and technical experts. How do we become more efficient? To do that, we have to embrace new technologies and do that in cooperation. As Uli Baldauf said, connected urban twins, that is, Hamburg and the port, need each other. We are networked with other cities and other ports where things can also be tested if you're, say, building a bridge. So this bridge could be built in exactly the same way in another port, which means you can recycle all that engineering planning, and in the long term, it all makes maintenance of existing structures much more efficient. 
I think that's part of the future, so as to remain competitive and quick. The future is to remain competitive and quick.